Now, in penetration testing, quick access is the key. And in this video, I will be showing you how to deploy a portable BNC server using just this, a LiliGo T dongle S3 with a USB Army 9 firmware, giving you instant remote access to a target system. And this is a very, very powerful tool for any red team engagement. Let's dive in. Okay, now the first thing that you need to do is go to the USB Army Knife GitHub and download the code if you haven't done so. The agent that you will need to install would be under Tools Agent and that is where the project would be. You need .NET 8 SDK to be installed. I'll be sharing the link down below. And together with the .NET 8 SDK, you would need the C++ things what? and you would need a visual studio installer for it the c plus plus desktop development um, package okay now after installing all of that you can open the code using your visual studio code <laughs> and go to the folder where the agent is and just type .NET publish release or dash r win x64. What will happen is after you do that under release, under bin release .NET 80 windows win x64, you'll see the DLLs in the batch file that you need to put in an image file. And that is the next one that we will be doing. Now, the next thing we need to do is to create the image file. Unfortunately, I don't know how to do it, do it on Windows, but there is a steps on how to do it on a Linux machine. I'm not going to pretend that I know all of this command, but I just know that when you do it, um, this one makes a certain device, like the agent that IMG, like a, what you call it, a separate hard drive. Parted um, gives you the configuration, whatever partition that is needed on that um, hard drive. Okay. Then after you do all of that, you try to mount it and you try to copy the files, the four files that I've shown you into the mounted uh, device, which is agent.img. Then you un unmount it and the result of it is something that I can show you is an agent that IMG that contains all of those four files and that is the one that you will be copying into your USB drive now the next script that you need to use is the one that you will be putting on your auto run that DS remember auto run DS script is the one that runs when you plug in your USB Army Knife, or on in this instance, the T3 or the T Dungle S3. Okay, now there are two scripts, by the way. One is the US Autoran DS and UK Autoran DS. And in some way, um, there's there are different keystrokes needed when you are on a US settings rather than a UK settings. Now, if you go to your keyboard, or in your settings let's go settings language settings okay you go settings you go first time and language in order for it to run correctly what you can do is go to language and region and be sure that you are on english united states and the next one that i will be showing you is what it will look like when it is trying to or when it is installing the agent into the target PC. Okay, so now you can see that I have the USB Army knife plugged in. I have my phone connected to the Wi-Fi of the USB Army knife. 
check out my other videos how to do that and here you can see agent running now when the agent is running you can do a lot of things one is you can go to the command and you can go to the agent and run some commands in here i'll be demonstrating that on a future video how to have a reverse shell using this but one thing that i will be showing now is the vnc click here and once it's connected to the vnc let's wait for a few seconds and as you can see that is the desktop we are using earlier compiling the agent and that is the same desktop that is here so you can use it to capture the desktop of your target pc that's it now you have a portable b and c solution ready to go now remember to test it out and explore it in different configurations to fit your needs but if you found this video helpful check out my other hacking videos here on hakista tv Till next time, my fellow Hakista.